Cats with the ball, hair out front. Knights trapping. Down in the corner. O'Hare on the drive, block, gets his own rebound, layup, missed. Knights down court. Drive, missed shot, tipped around. Cats control. Great rebound that time. By Shenango, three-point attempt, bounces up and in. Matt Boer with the shot, good. 21-14, seven minutes. Three-point attempt by the Knights off the front of the rim. Boer with the rebound, or check out Miko. Four. Mikko number three. Shot inside by Mikko. Good. Mikko gets the two. 23-14. Cats lead. Drive, shot, it's in. Shakir Huntley with the shot. Boer with the ball. Out front to Christian. Oh, lost a handle on that one. Drive layup foul. That'll send the Knights to the line. Huntley shooting two. Cats lead 23-16 with 5.32 left in the second. First shot up, back of the rim, no good. Second shot up, it's good. 23-17, Cats lead by 6 31 Booer. Couldn't see that. Booer, three-point attempt, got it. 26-17. defense. Blocking foul called on O'Hare. In the paint, drive, layup, no good. Boer with the rebound. Three-point attempt, off the rim, no good. Here come the Knights down court. Drive, layup, gets the roll. 23, 26-19, that was Shakir Huntley with the shot. Booer, 
Foul line extended, no good. Knights down court, three point attempt. Boer on defense, and that's Turco with the rebound. There, top of the key. Boer to Turco. O'Hare, layup, missed. Layup missed by Miller. Drive foul. I believe they're gonna call the foul on O'Hare. That's his second. Got him ever so slightly with the body. Turner at the line. First shot is good. Second shot up and no good. Back of the rim. Cats get the rebound. Hair across the timeline. Three point attempt, no good. Shenango up 26 20. 319 on a moving clock. Dribble drive knocked away. Turnaround jump shot, good for the Knights. Richardson making the shot, 26-22. Cats up by four. That's O'Hare with the ball, drive right side. Pass in, back out to Boer. Boer with the drive and foul on the Knights. 235 left in the second. shot up by Boer. Good. Two shots by Boer. 28-22. Here come the Knights down six with 230. Left side. Drive. Back out front. Richardson. Back of the rim. No good. Rebound. Summit, follow, good. Rentos makes the shot. Two minutes, 28-24. Cats up by four. Three-point shot, got it. Ryan Smith with the three-point shot. Dribble drive inside, layup good. Timeout. Shenango. 137 left. 31 26. Wildcats lead by five. Shenango being able to hit shots, particularly when. They have to, and three-point shots, no less. I believe it was a full timeout. We're looking to see a, when the horn is. There we go. Here 
come the Cats. And it's Shenango's ball out, 137. Knights are not pressuring. O'Hare with the ball, direct in traffic. Across the timeline, pass left side. Booer knocked away from Ryan. Inside, that's Turco. Layup missed. O'Hare gathers it in. Three point shot. Follow tip, good. That was Benson with the tip. With a minute left, it's 33 26. Cats leading by seven. Pass right side. Inside shot, good. Richardson with the shot. 36 seconds on a moving clock. Booer, pass left side. Ryan, got it. 36-28. You got 15 seconds on a moving clock. Knights with the ball. Cats up by eight. Knights, two second. Shot no good. And we go to halftime with the score. Shenango, 36. Summit Academy 28. We'll be back with the third quarter right after these messages. Welcome back, and here's my longtime buddy, Mr. McNeese. How you doing? Doing great, Ange. How you doing? It's always good to see you, my man. Hey, thanks. Always good to be here. The Cats are in a position where they got to win three straight. Can you tell us a little bit about some of the upcoming games? I'm, I'm looking. A lot of the teams, their schedule has the last game be it an exhibition game. Now, Sharpsville is your exhibition game. That's a non leg, right. The ones that are key for me is they got to get a win tonight. They have to beat Riverside. They have to beat Mohawk. The Sharpsville game is a non leg. That's not important. But they have to win the three league games. Our only chance when it gets to the playoffs is we have to win out, but Riverside has to win out. And if that happens, we both go. So we're in that situation. You know, we uh, lost the game the last Tuesday and it hurt. That kind of pushed me on the A-ball. We still got chains and we're still alive, so we're taking it in there and fighting for our life. Now, Riverside has to play New Brighton. Right. That's going to be an important one, I think. Riverside has Lincoln Park tonight, from what I understand. That'll be a tough win for them, so we're hoping that Lincoln Park can beat them. We have them Tuesday, and of course, we got to beat them. And if New Brighton can come through for us, and Knock off her shot and we'll sneak in and back into the playoffs. So we're hoping for the best. Okay. Now, how many teams go to the playoffs in this double A league? They'll take four out of the seven that we have. So four teams going right now Lincoln Park, Laurel, and Shannon are all locked. Lincoln Park will end up one. Laurel and Shannon in some fashion will be two three. That hasn't been determined yet. Riverside is the solid four at the moment with the option that we possibly could tie. So possibly three teams from Lawrence County out of this league 
yeah. and make the playoffs. Right, right. And yeah, that's hoping we can be one of those. And that's saying something because Lincoln Park has a, a great team. Yeah, they really do, Ian. You know, it's um, it's a situation where they, it's not quite apples and oranges, really, because they kind of get to bring kids in from all over the place and. You know, people have their own thoughts on that. But whatever the case may be, they're very strong. They were placed in our league, and, you know, we got to deal with that. But they're pretty good. They're ranked number two in the state for a reason. They're a very good team. Now, tonight, Shenango hit some key shots. Every time the Knights came close, Shenango was able to hit a key shot. Yeah, they're, they're keeping them at a little bit of a distance, but not as much distance as I like. <laughs> Picked up a few too many second shots and drives to the hoop. And it's allowed some of the categories to stay in this ball game. But we're going to put up points, I'm pretty sure of that. We have guys that can score. Some is not that solid defensively. We're going to score points. The problem is, can we stop them and keep them from scoring a lot of points? The Knights of Summit Academy don't look as athletic as they were in the past. They came in here in the past with a lot of athleticism. I was like impressed with the the poise Shenango showed with hitting those shots. I think that's a key. How good will Shenango be if this game gets a little physical? I'm sorry, Mr. How good would it be if what? If the, if the game gets a little more physical. Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, I'm hoping that we'll be fine in that regard. I'm more concerned with the quickness factor than the physical part. I think physicalness and strength will be okay banging with them, but they're, they're a little bit quicker than us right now. Getting off that floor a little quicker than that first rebound. They're not shooting the ball well, some of the cats, but they're doing a great job of going back and getting their own shot. So whether you score the first, second, or third shot, it still counts as a basket. So we're hoping that we can kind of limit some of those second shots because that's hurting us right now. Now, do you see us in any foul trouble? I, the camera blocks from where I was looking up at that, that board. I know O'Hare has two, and he looks like a key person that makes the wheels go around because he comes down under a lot of control, and I really like his style. Yeah, I agree with you. And he, right now he's the only guy in foul trouble, and that's good because we're not real deep on the bench, and uh, we need to stay out of foul trouble. So I'm hoping that he doesn't get taken away because you know, as a point guard, he does a nice job of setting the offense out there. Hey, I want to thank you for stopping up. Always great to have you here on NCTV. And we still got to do lunch sometime, brother. Yeah, absolutely, Ian. Absolutely. I, I miss having lunch with you. I'd love to sit down there and yes, and talk sports. And, so it's great that you asked me up. I appreciate that. Always good to talk to you, my man. You do a great job with this show. Thank you. Tell the guys I said hello. I will, Ian. Thank you. We'll be back with right. second half action right after these messages. <laughs> 